Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2022 as we continue our Journeyman Glory Hunter series, now with Avangard Kursk in the Rus Russian First Division. And we are trying to fight off relegation. So far, so good, but we still got a lot of work cut out for us. Let's get into the episode. All right, here we are in game. And as you can see, we are still just hovering right outside relegation at the moment. Uh, 14 points uh, total, still negative eight goal differential overall. We've only played two games since the last episode. Uh, we still got a lot of work cut out for us, to be fair. Um, but we have a decent amount of time. We, we, there's a chance we could turn this around. And right now, uh, we, have, we are on a three-game winning streak. Uh, the first game won was before we showed up. Uh, we have won two games since then. Uh, we won this game against Zenit 2, who is currently last in the league. So not much to say about that. But we beat them 3 to nothing with a goal from Galgen and a goal from Daurov. Or two goals from Daurov, sorry. Who is our, I think, left winger? Right winger? What is he, actually? Right winger. Um, so pretty good stuff from him. Uh, we then went up against Orenberg, who was ranked number four at the time that we played them. Uh, picked up a goal from Galgen, and that's all we needed. Uh, to secure that win. Today we're going to be playing Spartak M2, who's ranked second. Uh, they are obviously the second team for Spartak uh, in the uh, Russian Premier League. Uh, they cannot get promoted. So they are ranked number two, but they can't can't promote up. They, they have to stay in this league. Um, but they're obviously filled with a bunch of really good players. Uh, it's going to be a tough game overall. Uh, we then going up against Shinnik, who is currently 15th. So probably a better game for us. Hopefully we can do better in that one than I think we're going to do against Spartak. If we can just not get blown out by Spartak, I will feel pretty good about things. Um, these two games we played the 4-4-2, but today we're going to be changing things ever so slightly just because of the players that we have uh, and the positions that they are best at. Um, so we're going to be playing the 4-1-4-1. Uh, so not much of a difference. We just don't have two great strikers, but we do have uh, Sarah Mouton who can be a really good defensive midfielder. We're going to try this out, see if this works any better for us, or it just works as good maybe, uh, and, and go from there. Still can't fill up our whole roster of uh, subs. Uh, can we do it if we pull in from under 20? Probably, I would imagine, right? Like, let's just let's just grab some players in here. Whoever. Uh, not you, obviously. Um, anybody that's got some fitness but also has done something. So just grab a couple players in here just to kind of fill up our substitutes a little bit. Just, you know, you never know what you might need. Uh, we can do five substitutes in this league. I forgot that from last season or from last year, I should say from last last year's glory hunter, but that is five substitutes at this level in this league. So we're definitely going to try and take advantage of that as much as we need to. And yeah, let's get into this game. I'm excited. I think this is going to be a fun game, uh, at least a fun episode. Maybe this first game might be a little rough, but I'm looking forward to a hopefully decent episode uh, overall and just try and, Try and survive relegation. If we can survive relegation, I think we can do some good stuff with this team next year. Um, and honestly, it's not completely impossible for us to push towards playoffs this year. I mean, it's only 11 points ahead of us, and we've got a lot of games to play. So not a complete impossibility, but we definitely still have a work cut out for us, starting with today. An away game against Spartak M2. They are pushing early here with an early highlight. In a good position, looks like they're going to get a good cross here. They are, uh, well, I say a good cross. They actually was not a very good cross at all. But they still have control at the moment. Uh, Kislev is able to pick that one up. Oh, we gave that away. Gave that away so much. We should have controlled that. That was that was not a goal because they're better. That was a goal because we screwed up. Um, which is always disappointing to see those types of goals pop up. Because Kislev should have done better here. I, I don't know what he was doing. That was a mistake. And even this guy right here, uh, Martinov. I have to learn some of these guys' names. I didn't go over the team. I haven't quite learned everybody's names. I probably should have gone over the team anyway. Uh, in fact, you know what? Let's talk, take a moment here. Uh, here's the team we've got today, just so we can start get used to getting used to their names. We got Chagrov in goal. We got Kisilev on the right hand side. Martinov and Bokoev in the middle, and Voropev on the left hand side. Sarah Mutin, as I said, was our defensive midfielder with uh, Darov and Mysultanov, sure, on the wings with Time. Tayumensev and Tekachev uh, playing midfield. 
And Galajan playing our striker role. He's been doing pretty good so far overall. So we'll see if he can keep that up today. Uh, we're getting another highlight already. Up oh, there's Galajan actually get, getting past the defense, maybe. Oh, no, he's not going to be in a good spot, unfortunately. Uh, he's going to get it back to, well, eventually. Well, never mind. It was, the names are too fast, and I couldn't see whose names was going what. Got to get used to these guys' names. I might have to. I might have to make their names easier to pronounce, but we're gonna try and stick with it for now. That was Tyumensive, I think. That was had a shot on goal and just didn't quite make it. Come on, guys, get a good defense here, or not, or not. Looks like that one will be offside. So, still holding on for a little bit longer. Yeah, he was definitely offsides. Good call, refs. Thank you. All right, free kick coming in from Mice. Got to find your name down here. My Sultanov. My Sultanov. Uh, Bokiev picking up that ball. Back to Vorpev. Sarmutin. Tekachev. <laughs> My Sultanov. <laughs> Vorpev. I'm, not, I'm sure I'm saying these names wrong. I'm going to do the best I can. You'll just have to accept is what it is. I apologize. Galjan is there. Oh, he should have gotten that down. Come on, buddy. We need that one. Come on, guys. All right, we're getting a throw in coming in for Spartak. On defense, guys. Defense, 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 defense. I mean, we'll take it, but a little scary there. I mean, we're in there. Not really getting the goal scores I would like to see, but we're in there. For now, at least. Come on, guys. Oh, we're going to let him get behind us now. That is not good. We need a good takeaway here. No, not like that. Uh, if I remember right, Spartak M2 can play their Team 1 players in this league whenever they want to. So, I mean, we could be playing against Premier League players at any time, if, if I remember correctly. So... I mean, this is this is going to be a hard team to beat, any, no matter what we do. I think at the end of the day, you've got to accept that you're probably going to lose to Spartak M2 and hope that you win a lot of the other teams and know that even if they were the number one team in the league, it doesn't matter. They can't get promoted. So just accept that Spartak M2 game is, is what it is and just move on from there at the, at the end of the day. It's practically a friendly. I mean, it's not, obviously, because it still counts for points, but, you know, just not much you can do about it. Come on, guys. It's not, not impossible for us to get back in this. Although, the way things have been playing out, I'm not feeling it, I'll be honest. All right, we got a corner kick coming from Spartak. Oh, we got on that one, but they got control still. Come on, guys. Let's get this one back. I mean, I feel like we're looking relatively okay defensively, but just just not not good enough. We're not being able to cover those crosses like that. Uh, it could be a height thing. It could be, I mean, it could be a skill thing. Who, who knows? But we're definitely definitely missing a little bit of a step when it gets down deep in here. I mean, he went up for it. Cardona just did it better at the end of the day. All right, we'll do at least a sub, maybe two actually. Um, we're definitely subbing out, uh, Tekachev. And then we'll sub out, are we Kisilev here? See what we got going on here? Since we got five subs, we might as well take advantage of them when we got players that aren't playing well. My Sultanov. Oh, that should have been a goal. We should have gotten one back there, guys. Yeah. My Sultanov. Oh, still can't get one in there. We are just like, they've got a really strong defense. Good goalkeeper too. Uh, well, we're getting highlight, but that's okay. Um, well, yeah, let's change out our striker. That seems relevant. Let's change out our def our midfielder here. I mean, I don't really care. I don't think it matters at this point. We're just trying to get, get some guys some game time. 
two is going to develop into something. This game is basically a... It's gone. I mean, there's not much we can do here. Expected to lose this game. I'll be happy with this episode if we get a good result against the next team, honestly. I, I don't need... I don't need a win here. I don't even need a draw here. It would have been fine. It would have been fun. It would have been nice. It would have been icing on the cake. But at the end of the day, I was not expecting to get a good result against Spartacim 2. They're just too good. All right, we'll do our last sub of the game here. Uh, Probably Mr. 6.4 here. Dowerov. Get some more of the guys some play time. See who, who ends up being like shining as a good player. Would have been nice to get at least one goal, and I felt like we deserved at least one. Um, but, you know, what you're going to do? I mean, I think we deserve to lose, but I also think we deserve to at least get a goal. Close. Looks like offsides. Should be the end of the game here. Um, we are getting a final highlight for some strange reason. I don't think this will actually end up being anything, but we'll find out. Uh, Makarenko. Oh, we did get a goal. All right, Makarenko. Mr. Uh, Central Midfielder over here on the left. We'll take it. A goal is a goal. I mean, a little bit of sign of something halfway decent. A little bit of curve on that ball. That was not too bad. We'll take it. We'll take it. I mean, we lost it. I expected to lose it, but uh, at least we showed up and did something there. I think I hit the wrong button, but that's all right. Spartacamp 2 is now number one in the league, but again, does not matter at the end of the day because they cannot get promoted. Uh, we'll send the assistant for that one. Okay, we'll be right back for game number two against Shinnick here. Should be a much better game. Uh, definitely much more our speed. Uh, we shall see if we can do better there. All right, we are back for game number two here. Hopefully a better result than the last one. Although again, I did not expect the last one to go super, super well anyway. So here is the team we've got. Uh, we got Chagrov in goal. We'll have to start getting used to sending some of these names at some point. Uh, Vorpev on the left, Kisilev on the right, Butyev and Martinov in the middle. Sarah Mutin is the defensive midfielder. Mysultanov and Darov on the wings with Tukachev and Tioman. Uh, Tumentsev. Tumentsev. Sure. Uh, what's your first name, buddy? Daniel. Whatever. Tumentsev uh, in the midfield and with Galajan up front. Um, my Sultanov is still a little bit not fit. Uh, we've also got some yellow card trouble for Tukachev, but we shall see if we can get this thing rolling. Still playing the 4 1 4 1. Uh, it does give our defensive midfielder a really good chance to play as his best position. And uh, since he's one of our best players, it does seem like a good idea to play one of your best players in one of their best positions and then just build the team around them. We'll see if we can get something here. There's a home game. Shinnick is definitely a beatable team, although they're getting an early corner kick here. Uh, ooh, almost an early goal. Thankfully, that did not go that way. And that was that. There's a throw in on the other side. Vorpev throwing into my, my Sultanov. Tukachev or Tekachev getting the ball. Over to Vorpev. It's it up. Uh, Galajan is there. Not able to get it below the bar, though. And that was all she wrote for that one. There's Tukachev. Tekuchev. Saramutin. Tayumensev. Sir. Mysultanov. All the way across. Ooh, and we do get it. Darov. Darov is able to pick up a goal. His third goal of the season, apparently. And a, not a bad way to start this game. Eight minutes in. Looking pretty good. A Sultanov. I can say your name. I think the one I'm having the most trouble is Tayumun, Tayu Mensev. Tayu Mensev. It's the only one I'm having trouble with. I think most of the other ones. My Sultanov, Tekachev. Yeah, I think I can get most of these other ones. It's part of the fun of playing in other countries is trying to figure out how to pronounce their names. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Oh, there's a good play there. Martinov over to Kisilev. Back to Martinov over to Kisilev. 
Gets it up to Darov. Come on, guys. Darov getting over in this corner, really deep in this corner. And he's got... Oh! My Sultanov. Second goal of the season for him. Goalkeeper went up for that one. Could not get it. And then he was obviously out of position for the follow-up. I feel like we've got a decent enough team to avoid relegation, for sure. Um, but... Whether we could do better than that, I don't know. Like, can we can we get into the playoffs? It's going to be a hard, hard-fought battle for sure. But we don't have a terrible team. I'm actually surprised they're this far down into relegation with what I've seen so far. Now, obviously, we're not as good as, like, Spartak M2 or anything like that. And so there's probably a couple of teams up there at the top. We're probably not going to win the league with this team. But a relegation? Like, really? Like, that just seems so aggressive. Uh, we are going to get a penalty shot here. Tayumensev is going to be able to take the, uh, take the penalty shot here. And he gets it. Good stuff. Three to zero early in this game. A lot of room in those stands for some more, for more fans. We start playing well. Hopefully we start filling those stands out pretty good because we are in some financial trouble with this team. I will give him that. All right, going into halftime, looking pretty good, dominating this game for sure. And let's see if we can hold on to that here in the second half. Plus, we need to start working back some of that goal differential. So anything we can do to, to get goals and avoid them scoring would be great. Tanya Mitsev pushing the ball up, gets it back to Dorov. Dorov gets it up to Kisilev. Kisilev just backs to Dorov, who's right there. Uh, Sarah Mutin. Sarah Mutin. Tekuchev over to Tayumetsev, up to Malsultanov. Malsultanov. There's Galajan. Oh, Darov. Second goal of the game. And looking really good today. This team is just is really looking good today. After that last game, we needed this. I mean, we're getting a little bit of luck going our way. The way that deflected off the player and he was able to follow up. I'll take it. I mean, sometimes you need a little bit of luck to go your way along with the, any skill that you have as well. All right, let's do a couple subs here, hopefully. Uh, I mean, Kislev apparently is playing atrociously. We'll sub him out for sure. Uh, and then we're going to sub my Sultanov out because he's just a little bit fatigued. And... Why would you have me sub in you? Like, why would that be your recommendation? Oh, it's because I just subbed him in. Okay, I get it, I guess. Uh, okay, well, let's change that then. Let's undo this. If I subbed him in here first, do I have somebody else that can come in here? It's the same player. I don't think it matters one way or the other which order I do this in. We'll do this one first, and then we'll just grab Mr. One Star here. I mean, at least he's something. And we'll go with that. We've got enough of a lead. We can play some of these guys that aren't super great. Give some of our other guys some rest. All right. Um, Motev, bring somebody in for you. Anybody else a little bit tired? Not super tired, to be fair. Bring Bogayev in for Vorpev. And go with that. Hold on to our last sub for any injuries here late in the game. Hopefully not. All right. Last sub of the game. Looks like Daurov. He's going to try and keep him in, see if he can get his last goal, but it does not appear that's going to happen. We'll just bring somebody in for him, give him a little bit of a rest. All is well. Good game overall. Pretty happy with this result. Actually, really happy with this result, quite frankly. Uh, really, a lot of it depends on how these other teams around us are performing. I mean, we're we're taking care of business against teams that we need to. Um, can we, you know, expect some of the teams around us to uh, to struggle? We are within nine points of playoffs. I mean, we're eleven one with the episode start, weren't we? Or at least a couple couple games ago. So within nine, and we've gained a little bit of ground, not a ton though, and. Um, 
still have a lot of work cut out for us. We're only two points clear of, play, of, of relegation. So we've definitely, definitely close to relegation in the playoffs. And we'll just have to do the best we can. Uh, picking up a goalkeeping coach. Sounds good to me. Kind of slowly but surely build out our coaching stuff. I praise Dalrov's performance. Good stuff there. All right. Well, that is that for this episode. Next episode you guys are going to see is going to be somewhere down here. Uh, there's Kim Key at five, Rotor at four, and Yenisee at six. One, two of these three, definitely, depending on kind of where they lit, sit by the time we get there. Uh, we'll probably play the t best two out of the three uh, just to kind of see what things look like. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.